All right. So this morning, I went out and harvested these elderberries that I've been waiting to ripen. When I was wondering what was going to happen with the elderberries when the season first came in, I watched how it grew a lot of limbs and got bigger and bigger, but I didn't see any flowers growing. So I did some research and found out the flowers would develop in June and the elderberries would be ready to harvest by mid-August to mid-September. It is now mid-August, so just like what I found out, they're ready. Now, when I harvested these, although there are many ripe elderberries on them, there are some that are not ripened. Now, I could wait until these ripen, but that means then the birds would be able to get the ones that are ripe. So, not to allow them to have the opportunity to eat a lot of these elderberries, because if you can see right here, there's a lot of ripened elderberries here. I want those elderberries to use for what I want to use them for because they are very high in medicinal properties. And so, instead of trying to be greedy to get as many as you want, it's good to go ahead and harvest your elderberries, even though you have some that aren't quite ripe yet. Now, these are the last of the ones that I've gotten off of a bush that I have, my elderberry bush that I have out front. And I wanted to make sure I got them because the birds, even when I went out and harvest them, were out like they were trying to get to these. It seemed like they were angry. I had harvested some earlier, but I kept them inside this plastic Tupperware dish. And the reason why is uh, I wanted to make sure I kept those fresh. And the way to do so is they tell you that you can put the lid on them, but you have to put it on loose so that you don't trap a lot of the moisture and things in there because, you know, moisture can cause all kinds of things like fungus and bacterial growth and things of that nature. So I didn't want to compromise. So I got this one from an um, earlier harvest. I think it's about maybe two other harvests. I believe I also harvested the elderberries that we have out back in the berry bush and the, the berry patch that we have. And then I just got these from today. So I'm going to just combine them to look at them so that we can process them to make some form of medicinal elderberry juice, elderberry jam, or some form of elderberry syrup. And elderberries are very highly medicinal. If you're not familiar, I would encourage you to look up what the medicinal properties of elderberries are because it could really help you not only deal with the things that we're going to deal with as we're going into the fall and winter seasons where we're dealing with colds and flus and things of that nature, but even excuse me, the, the current situation that we're dealing with in regards to the virus to be able to help you deal with that as well. Thank you for watching.